Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Spy Family, you guys. Waka waka. <laughs> I am so excited to see more of this show. Last week was so much fun. Honestly, had some tense moments as well, but like you can always kind of rest assured on a show like this, like they're not really gonna go to, well, at least so far they have not gone to a lot of um, extreme lengths in terms of like the cover being blown or the, you know, just kind of the, I guess, gravitas of the situation. We keep it mostly lighthearted on this show, which is what, what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, guys, I loved it. It was such a fun episode. I will briefly get into just kind of a highlight reel of what I thought of the previous episode before we jump on into this next one. Um, before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still, thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, guys, um, it has been brought to my attention that much like Barbie, Anya just has many jobs here. <laughs> We've seen her in many different, um, just kind of like, uh, roles, I guess. Last time was, um, being Sherlock Holmes. Um, I love the outfit. I, I, I adore it. It's chef's kiss. Um, it was so fun to see her exploring like a different aspect of their world. Um, now that we've kind of settled into like the home life and the school life and everything. Um, and it was interesting to see too that Lloyd, you know, does a lot to invest in this cover, you know. Um, I think it would have been easy to like gloss over that and just be like, you know, they had mentioned I think in the past that he actually, he did work at the hospital. Like they, I forget what was said or shown, but um but, like, we knew that he actually did have to, like, show up for work. Um, obviously, I don't think he's really actually seeing a lot of patients there or anything. But, like, the cover is good enough so that, like, a big majority of the hospital staff, you know, knows him, interacts with him, has a, you know, that's very important that they have kind of a positive view of him. Um, we know just, like, psychologically how hard Lloyd works to make everything fit perfectly, you know. Um, so it makes sense that, like, we would make that fit as well. Um, certainly with all the high amount of suspicion and everything, with kind of the rising tensions between these two countries, um, you probably would not want him to be in a position where, like, oh, all you have to do is go poke in a little bit and you can see that this whole, like, cover unravels really quickly and he's not really at a hospital or he's never there or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, so, really cool to see more of that, and we got to meet a new character, I don't know if they said their name yet, they may have, um, but we know that, that character is in the end theme, so I'm like, oh, I feel like this person is going to be important, so stick around for that, um, we had Ghost Anya, <laughs> so we have Spider Yor, now we have Ghost Anya, and we have whatever the heck Anya was implying that Lloyd is doing in her report, which was poorly worded, but in a hilarious way, and a very alarming way. Um, thankfully, you know, Lloyd's, Lloyd's got that charm. He could smooth it over, but dang it, guys. Um, yeah, it was, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we're closing in pretty quickly on the end of the season, which is awesome, but also at the same time, like, super bittersweet because I don't know what I'm going to do with my life when the show is over. It is my whole heart. Um, but I would be shocked if they didn't get a season two, so I guess we'll just have to, like, fingers crossed, stay tuned. <sighs> and just try to get through the drought together, I suppose. But uh, but for now, we got a couple of apps left. We got a couple of weeks. Um, so without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right in to the next episode of Spy Family. Let's do this. Oh, Fiona. Fiona Frost. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That's, I was kind of wondering, what? Oh, 
Okay, I was gonna say we're there's no way that we're yeah, there's absolutely no way that we're gonna break up the family. What are you saying, Miss Fiona? Oh, very like, okay, look out for number one. Nightfall. <gasps> oh, no. You better not mess around here. I think yours pretty pretty as well. Oh no, I'm not. No, no. Oh no, I no. We're not doing this. No way. Yours like mm. There's no way she's going to talk bad about Anya. Yeah, no way. She truly, like, cares. Hmm. Aww. Oh, sweet. Do not put yourself down. Stop! Lloyd is not going to have this. You're interfering with the mission. That will look very suspicious if he all of a sudden gets a new wife. What's the me? Oh, I see. <laughs> Anya's. <laughs> Anya's onto it. Yes, it is. The dog needs to be walked. Yeah, no, you s Oh no, it was like that. That is what it was like. Never mind. So inside, we're actually very, okay, all right, all right. I was kind of wondering, I'm like, is it really all about just stealing the, okay. <laughs> Oh, so we're seeing ourselves as like a, a, a good companion. No way. No way. So much for spies not having attachments, I guess. So we're like for real into, okay, that, that makes, oh, wow. With the, with the cherubs, everyone. The cherubs. Okay. Gotcha. Anya is frozen in fear at the moment. That's not. <gasps> oh, you're is going to awfulize this. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. We're going to be very upset, but I wonder if we're going to get, like, activated. Your. You are a catch. Stop it. Maybe he's changed. <laughs> oh, now she, now she's nervous. Is it? Oh, I see. And Ani's just like, I don't want to hear this. Yeah. Oh, Coco. It's okay, baby. What good does it do to... Oh, no. No, I do not like this. I do not like this. No. No, I'm not into the whipping. No, thank you. I need this person gone. Oh, Anya's going to do something. She's going to be like, I love you, mama. I want to cuddle my mama. 
Oh, we love you, Mama. Oh, kawaii! <laughs> Not into it. We know you just want to crack the whip. Aww. Yay! <laughs> We're so happy! Yeah, rub a dum dum! <laughs> yours, yours, like. <gasps> That's right! You get in there! Lloyd is happy with this arrangement. Lloyd has no. Oh. Uh... Oh, so we trained with Lloyd. Is it though? Because I feel like. I feel like Lloyd's kind of breaking his own rule there a little bit. Which is why we had love in our hearts, but scary on the face. The subtle truth being that he actually looks kind of happy and maybe you should back off? Go get those potatoes. Get out of our house. Thank you. Right, so they do have to go on a mission together. Oh, are you crying? Interesting how we have the like, don't hold me back while I'm inside. It's like, I would do anything just to be close to you, even if it's a fake wife situation. Yeah, I do. Blurf! Ah! Why are we shooting penguins? Pangy! No! <laughs> it's me! It's me watching every show! We need Mr. Penguin close. Okay. Maybe Bond can provide some comfort as well. Oh, we have we have our penguin. We're feeling better. I get it. I get it. I really do. You guys know. Oh! Oh, is he a he's a little jealous of the penguin! Please don't tell me he killed the penguin. He killed Bond, you have made this a little bit worse, friend. Huh? He's like, oh, I don't know nothing about it. Oh, he gets a hug in his head. Penguin stole Anya from me. Don't, Bond just, <gasps> no, don't say that to Bond, no, but you don't mean it, no. Penguin will live, that's a special penguin, we followed that penguin since the start of its show, my goodness, okay. Oh dear, um, we'll get you a new one, we'll go back down to the, yes, because you got it at the aquarium for her. Because we love you, Papa. <gasps> we fixed him. He's got some stitches, but he looks... Ah, he's... You can... You know, he's been through a lot of missions. You could look at it that way. That's... There you go. Oh. Oh, he got our penis. Oh, don't call him evil, Bond. He says, I'm sorry I brought you peanuts. I love you. I was just jealous. He is. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I could never hate Bond. Yes, we will call this a truce. You have provided a good peace offering. Yeah, she didn't really mean it. Oh, God, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> oh, I want my dog so bad right now. 
I love this show so much. I love this show so much. Yeah. If only we could see things through the eyes of a child, you know? Guys, you know how I get when they get too sweet and wholesome with the dog stuff. I will drown in a river of my own tears. <sighs> they put me through it today. I'm not going to lie, you guys. Um, they were they were not shy with, uh, with, with hurting me a little bit in this one. Because we had a big old, like, other woman threat to the family. And... We had a falling out between Anya and Bond and sad Bond and Anya. So, see, I'm so glad they made up because there's no way she would ever, ever, ever in any universe mean that. But she was upset. And I get it because I, too, shock, gong, <laughs> have had things destroyed by a dog. I don't know if the <laughs> intention was jealousy, but I get it. But um, he, he was... He was feeling a little left out, and he thought maybe he would uh, just get that penguin out of the way. Really bad timing that he happened to do it right after the episode where the penguin dies. You know what I mean? Because, like, I get it. If you guys have been following my reactions for a while, you know that I have a very sentimental relationship with not only characters, but, like, plushies of characters that have got me through <laughs> some rough times. So I get it. It was very, very bad timing. It was a, he's not a bad dog. He just did a bad dog thing, you know? I don't know how I, somehow I'm more affected by the dog story than the Fiona story. I guess anyone who knows me probably saw that coming, but, um, oh God, guys. Okay, um, I will just let you know right now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying really hard to, to play devil's advocate to myself and try and see things from a different perspective. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who, like, love the hack out of Fiona. That's cool. I just, like, my initial, like, gut reaction is, like, no, it's the other woman. Like, get away from our happy family. And, you know, I think even she, to a degree, could see, like, oh, that's his fake smile. But then a little bit leaked through. And I think maybe what she saw was, like, him actually appreciating the family in that moment. And that's why she got up and left. So, like, I give her credit for at least, like, doing that when she saw, the, like, hey, if this is really something that makes Lloyd happy, or Twilight, or whatever. Um, but it still sounds like we're pretty determined to try and take that spot as the, as the wife and mom. I gotta admit, there is something about, like, at first, when they were like, oh, she's cold, she's this, she's that. I'm like, okay, first of all, there's probably way more to it. Second of all, um, I think... It is, like, slightly more endearing to think that, like, she is motivated out of love and not just out of, like, you know, wanting to steal the thunder from Twilight for herself when it comes to the mission or something. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, I guess that's a little bit more endearing. But, um, and like I was saying, she has known him and cared for him a lot longer, it seems, you know, um, than, than your. So I guess, you know, it's a matter of perspective, you know, had we been following her story from the start, would your seem like the other woman? But it's just really hard to shake the feeling, guys, of like, do not come near this family. I will protect them with my life. You know what I mean? I think that's normal. I think but at this point in the game, that's what they're trying to elicit from us. So, <laughs> but I'm like trying really hard to not be like, I just hate Fiona. Cause like, clearly I think it's going to be a character where like the more you see of them, the more you're going to like, I've seen enough and I know this isn't exactly, um, I don't know, would this fall into the category of slice of life? It's kind of, it has a lot of action and everything too, but, um, I've seen enough slice of life to know that like, there'll be that character who's like the person who has a crush or like, is like coming between, whatever is going on with like the main couple of the anime and like at first you're like no get away and then you kind of get to know them and you're like oh. <laughs> okay I kind of appreciate their story too so like that's kind of where I'm at you know my initial gut reaction is like GTFO but I'm sure like this character will grow on me more over time um Yuri definitely did. Although, like I said, the threat didn't feel as, like, actually substantial with Yuri um, as it does with, with Fiona. Um, all right, guys. 
That was great. Also, like, what on earth? Following that up with a story where Anya and Bond have a fight, and she says she hates him. <gasps> They're just really trying to put me through the ringer today. I don't appreciate it. I will just take peanuts and happiness, please. The ending was really good, though. The ending was like, I don't know why I tear up when I just see, like, happy dog. <laughs> I just love dogs. And I love this show. So, all right, guys, that was fantastic. I cannot wait to see where we're, like, as if we didn't have enough going on. Sure, let's throw this in the mix, too. Let's throw Fiona in the mix. Why, like, why not? Why freaking not? Um... I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please, now I'm most definitely going to need your help on this. So please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.